Hi there, and welcome back again to the last part, part four. I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, hopefully, is you've got to the stage yourself where you've done a first draft of the comparison between the Walnut Tree Forge and Cathedral Builders. Now, is interesting when I'm teaching local schools around here is that there are two approaches. Um, the first one, uh, is the approach that I always take, it's old school, and that is, is to make that direct comparison between the two poems straight away. Whereas I notice some schools, and it is acceptable of course, is that they're tackling one at a time, so they're analysing each poem, and then adding on paragraphs which then compare the two poems at the end. As I say, I'm old school, but uh, um, both are valid. Anyway, have a good look. If you need to pause on the, uh, on the model, do so. And uh, what I've left at the end is uh, the criteria, the WJEC uh, criteria. Uh, before I speak at the end briefly, is you may want to have a look at that and look yourself at uh, marking it and looking out for the each criterion and uh, hopefully you think it's the same grade as I do. Well, uh, I hope this is going to help you in your writing. And as I've said, I hope you've already done your first draft and you're now comparing it uh, with mine. Um, it is an A star uh, grade, of course. And um, if you've covered, for example, is the, um, the pattern that the WJC want you to follow, which is looking at the structure, the ideas, the language, the tone, and then giving your opinion of these poems. And also looked at the criteria is where, you know, if you're following PQA or P, point uh, evidence explain or point uh, quote analysis, uh, which seem to be used in, in most schools in South Wales anyway, you, you know, it forces you in fact is, is if you're looking at the two poems is to is constantly quote constantly analyze the language which should be uh, sustained of course um, perhaps one thing you'd like to to circle in the model as well is those connector words like uh, similarly or in contrast with or both um, uh, or uh, like um, th those kind of connector words or, or phrases will make sure that is that the comparison is highlighted and if you do that of course you're well on your way to uh, one of the top grades now is this is the last in the series is I'm going to return now to uh, mice and men and, and still go through the characters I got George to do next, but I think there's another, at least four, and maybe looking at one or two of those important minor characters like Carlson. So, um, have a nice Christmas, and hopefully I'll see you soon.